Being able to manipulate equations algebraically is one of the most useful skills math-wise that you'll use in high school. Uh, you're just doing these things all the time. So I want to review how to take two functions, one of them is g, one of them is h, and do some algebra on these functions. And let's just pick this part right here, because it has a minus sign, and I suspect that's where most of the errors are going to pop up in this sort of equation. So what it means is we're going to take this entire uh, g function, and we're going to plug it in right here. And likewise, we're going to take this entire h function, we're going to plug that in right here. So now I'll just carry this through and see what happens. We get g of x. I'm going to use parentheses because I think they're very useful in keeping minus signs straight. There's a couple of those to watch out for in this problem. There's my g of x. And now I'm going to say minus 2 times h of x. Well, h of x is just 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. Okay, so I've now substituted my functions into this um, new form. And now it's just a matter of simplifying things. Now, if you notice, this parentheses on the left, this guy right here, has nothing in front of it. There's no multiplier right there in front. Or you could think of it differently. You could say, well, the multiplier is just 1. And that means there's nothing we need to worry about here in terms of uh, changing these numbers around. It's just going to be 4x squared minus 4x plus 3. So those parentheses really aren't necessary. But with this second parentheses on the right, now this parentheses is very useful because it reminds us we're going to multiply negative 2 times 3, negative 2 times negative 2, and negative 2 times positive 5. So what do we get? We get minus 6x squared plus 4x and minus 10. Okay. And now all that's left is combining like terms. That phrase means you look for everything that is like, okay, such as these x squareds. That's going to give you a negative 2x squared. And let's see, what's something else that's like? Negative 4x and positive 4x. Well, those cancel out. Those just give you 0. Uh, and then what's one more? We've got a positive 3 and a negative 10. So that's minus 7. So in the end, what I'm left with here is negative 2x squared minus 7. That would be my answer.